everyone this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes and welcome back to my channel I'm so excited that you guys have chosen to join me for today I want to welcome you and I hope everyone is feeling fabulous I am here today to share a video response with you guys for my world in OKC here on the YT she is celebrating her subscribers and she wanted to do a giveaway and her giveaway consists of making one Rolodex card, which is also known as a memory dance, as well as three embellishments. And I will list her channel in the description box for you guys to learn more if you'd like to participate. But I literally just found out about this challenge and I didn't even know about her channel until now. And through a lot of you awesome YouTube pals that I have here on the YT who has been sharing your projects that you have made for her um, challenge and this challenge is going to be ending on september 30th and she's going to be doing the drawing on october 5th so again i will list the information in the description box and hopefully you guys will have time to play along but i know i'm running um, to the post office to get my things in there too and today's date is cutting it really close right here at the end of the month so with that being said i'm going to quickly share with you what i use as well as the projects that i created for her challenge and so one of the things that I pulled out for this challenge here is my Fashion Nisa's paper. This paper is a old collection, but an oldie but goodie. And I love it. This is by Red Collections. And I have gotten a lot of use out of this paper pad. I, I bought two of these because I love it so much. And this one right here is on its last leg. And I have another one because I love the prints. I've used it so many times in projects. So that's one there. The next one that I have, um, I've already shared before, but I keep coming back to this one because it's so pretty and I love things that sparkle. This one right here is Pastel Glam Glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's by Paper Studio. And I also pulled out some Satin Ribbon. This is 5 by 8 And this right here is this beautiful Satin Purple color. I use a few of my sequins and these are the coordinating colors that I use that you can see so we have a mix of different colors going on I'm not going to say too much about that because you will see it on the project and then I also put out my Queen and Company diamonds um, to add a little bit of um, in my shaker that I made I love to use the micro beads as well so I did pull these out these are by Red Collections this helps move those sequins along the way when you're making shakers and of course my Belly Art Precision Glue that I've talked about before a circle die my sparkle no award glitter pen and I'm going to go ahead and share the projects with you guys and then I'll tell you more about what I use as I go on she didn't request this but I always like to try to include a card if I do hand make it which I handmade this one or if I do run out of time I try to go ahead and just include one that's already in my stash to add to my project um, when I'm sending something for a challenge or just happy mail um, different things of that nature so here's my card creation that I made for this challenge here and this challenge right here um, you can pretty much create whatever you want um, but she does have um, some things that she mentioned in her video so just make sure you listen up for that again if you choose to participate um, but I was feeling like fashionista so that's the direction that I went with my creations this time and you can see how I have outlined this beautiful card with this purple paper here I've also added that glam um, glitz paper as well as these beautiful perfume bottles from the fashionista paper and then I use um, my dyes that I'm going to share in just a moment the word cherish yourself and I thought that really went really nice um, for this card because you have the perfume bottles and of course you need to take care of yourself and think about you sometime because we do so much for us uh, for others sometimes you forget to take out some time for yourself and that's how I was feeling and that's what I chose to go ahead and do and sometimes you need that break to you know reflect on life and just do what you love to do for you um, so this is what I created and I also added some blink in these bottles here and I absolutely love the way this turned out and on the word cherish and yourself I went ahead and add some of that on um, spent in the word glitter to give it a little bit of bling there I don't know if you guys can see that or not because the camera is not doing it justice but I absolutely love the way that turned out now for this card this is what I used for the card I use 
these gems right here as well as um, part of my other projects that I'm going to um, show that I created. I also use, um, this one was not on this one yet, but it's also I use some of this on my other upcoming projects that I'm going to share once to scrap. Um, glam, um, some of the bling here. So these are some of the ones I use there. Now for the two dies, Cherish Yourself, I use the Elizabeth Craft Design dies. And I got the Yourself from this collection here that says Be Brave, Bold, Yourself is the name of that one. And then I have the Cherish from Suzanne Cannon, which is really a beautiful flourish here. So these are the two that I have and I absolutely love it. Love those dies and they cut so easy. And so for my Memory Dex card, I use this one here, one of my all-time favorites. This is the perfume bottle that I use that I got from KS Craft Online. And here's the foam that I use and also this beautiful adhesive gem bling by Paper Studio that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. These gorgeous hearts. So now up for my memory debts. This is one of the items that she has requested. This is what my memory debts looks like. You can see I use that same coordinating paper and it's absolutely gorgeous. So those perfume bottles are in the back and I decided to add some bling to the areas of the bottle because some perfume bottles do have bling on it. And I just want to kind of just keep this card really simple as you can see. I've added that purple satin ribbon along with that beautiful heart gem embellishment in the center um, to give it a little bit of pop and elegance. And this is what we have. On the back I've also included my information. But this is my memory debts here that will be coming to her. And I'm really excited about that. And I love the way they look together. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And she also asked for three embellishments. So here are my embellishments. And again, I'm not crazy about making embellishments. But I decided to go ahead and do these since this is what one of the things that she requested. And this was, um, I like the way it turned out, um, but I'm more of a card maker as well as 3D projects. But these, I'm really happy with them. So let me go ahead and share that with you now. And so here's the first one here. You can see how I use that same perfume coordinating paper from the Fashionista um, paper pad. And this, you can see how I outlined it also with that um, glitz paper. And I added this circle right here in the center to give it a little bit more design. You can see how I mixed the sequence inside, and yes, it does shake. On the back, I also included my signature stamp on all of the perfume bottles. And so this is what it looks like. That's the first one. The next one looks like this. I've used this beautiful Sevron paper from the same um, Fashionista collection. That shakes as well. Last but not least, here is my other perfume bottle that I actually did a tutorial on and that will be coming up soon that video is kind of long but I hope you guys still stay tuned to look at that it won't be on this video I was going to add it but this um, video response would be too long so that will be coming up on another video separately so if you would like to see how I created these perfume shaker bottle embellishments feel free to look at that video that will be coming up really soon but this one shakes as well this one I added a little bit more I also added some of those beautiful Queen and Company diamonds inside of here um, but this one was fun as well so here are all my shaker embellishment for my perfume bottles love it yes now feel free to add whatever you want to to these if you want to put a bow up here you can do that or if you want to add a tassel you can do that as well but that's just some different ideas there but I kept mine like this so that way she can add whatever she needs to if she wants to alter it still and be able to apply them to a project of her choice but this is my creations for my world in OKC. I'm new to her channel and I'm so glad that I had a chance to create for her challenge and congratulations on your subscriber growth and I hope many more subscribers come over to support your channel and guys I hope you see this let her know I sent you over. This is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, click the bell for notifications so you will know when I release new videos and check out my Instagram page which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Thank Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.